please welcome Caleb Gardner. Caleb Gardner. Caleb Gardner. Caleb Gardner. Are you ready? Let's get started. Society is changing underneath our feet in so many different ways. Now, there's lots of data points that I could talk about, but how about the fact that only 50% of the world is actually plugged in and online? Isn't that fascinating? Only 51% of the world, according to the latest internet trends report. What happens when the rest of the world comes online? Any kind of community, you have a normal kind of bell curve of people that are right with you and people who are kind of dissenting. Like in this room, there are already people who are like, oh, that guy worked for Obama, I've got to get his business card. It doesn't matter what else I say, you'll find me afterward because you, you're going to love everything. And then there are some of you who are already tuning out because uh, I'm talking about politics and you're like, oh, it's not really my thing. But a lot of you are kind of right there in the middle, right? Around that normative bell curve of, oh, this could be really interesting, or uh, not really my thing, but I'm waiting to be convinced. That's what a normal community looks like. My first job was as a cashier at my local Walmart in Oklahoma. I saw some stuff. <laughs> we actually got to know some of our trolls. Glenn was one of them. We were like, oh, good old Glenn, you know. Always keeping us honest with your bald eagle avatar. Um, <laughs> business decisions, as they always have been, are really complex. We just know more about that complexity now. So if we are going to create a business environment that is less exploitative, that is more sustainable, we have to figure out how to change business for the better in a way that is sustainable as well. We have to learn how to help our businesses, big and small, change well. Which is why I wrote a book called No Point B that's about doing change better in the technology-driven, socially conscious, politically on fire world that we live in now. Everyone wants to be a positive leader for change. We as leaders just have to see our role as leaders to enable that, to help them see the power they have to make change and then let them do it. Enable your people to be change leaders and they won't disappoint you.